Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create the spy thriller look of the Bourne Legacy poster adapted for the UFC world of ultimate fighting. This document is 1800 by 2588 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. Choose an image of one or two people that you'd like to use for your poster. The results will be better if your image is lit at an angle giving it deep shadows. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. The Filter Gallery window will open. Open the Texture folder and choose Cracular. We'll use 15 for spacing, 6 for depth, and 9 for brightness. Depending on the size, resolution, and characteristics of your photo, you may want to adjust these numbers. To give it that desaturated look of the Bourne Legacy poster, I'll press Ctrl or Command plus U to call up my Hue Saturation window. I'll desaturate it by 50%. Double click on your background and we'll rename it Base. Go to the New Layer icon and press Ctrl or Command as you click on it. This makes a new layer directly below the active layer. We'll fill it with black and since black is our foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. Click on the base to make it active. We're ready to make the horizontal bars over the image. Call up your rectangle tool and go to the top and choose path. Drag a rectangle over the face making sure your subject's eyes are inside the box. Go to layer, vector mask and current path. As vector masks the shapes we draw are fully editable. To make a copy of this shape call up your path selection tool and press alt or option as you click on the shape. To align the copy when you move it press and hold shift. To make another copy of the original shape, I'll click back on it, press Alt or Option and move it. If I decide to get rid of a shape, I'll click back on it and press Delete. I'll click on the shape and make a copy and then call up my transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command plus T. To extend the left side of the shape, I'll go to it and drag it to the left. I'll repeat it for the right and press Enter or Return. Continue adding rectangular bars of different lengths, revealing areas of your image you want to see. Make space in between some of these bars, which we'll add words to later. The Bourne Legacy poster has clean margins on both sides. To achieve this, call up your rectangle tool again and press Alt or Option as you drag out a rectangle. Extend the shape a bit past the edge to create a margin. As soon as you release your cursor, the vector mask deletes all the vector shapes within it. Repeat this for the right side. Notice all the vector shapes we drew are seen in the vector mask. To hide the paths on your image, simply click on the vector mask. To see them again on your image, click back on it. Call up your type tool and open your character panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and choose Character. I'm using Nicodex, which you can download for free at defont.com. For my first word, I'll use a point size of 66. Click on the color box and choose a color. I'm using DAC5AA. I'll type out my first word. I'd like to italicize it, so I'll highlight it and click on the italic button. To reposition your text, call up your Move tool and move it. To type out another word on a separate layer, call up your Type tool or press the letter T. Type out your second word. To increase the size, highlight it and either slide the size up or type it out. Call up your Move tool to move it and to set the third line, call up your Type tool and click on your document. I'll change the font to Batman Forever Alternate which you can also download for free at defont.com. I'll change the point size to 85 type out my text and move it. I'd like the word to have a dark gradient at the bottom. Control click or command click on the text to make it into a selection. Then click on the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to the text. Call up your brush tool and we'll make the opacity 80 percent and the brush size 125. Make the hardness 0 percent. To close the window press enter or return. Go to the lower left of the text, press shift and drag a line to the right. I'll make this word active, call up my type tool, 
highlight it, increase its size, and move it up overlapping the middle text. I'd like to add a small line that extends out from the bottom left of the F similar to the one in the Born poster. Make a new layer and press Z to call up your zoom tool. We'll zoom in on that area and call up the rectangle tool. Click on the bottom of your letter and drag out a narrow rectangle. Fill it with your foreground color and press Ctrl or Command plus D to delete the selection. Let's merge the line we just made with the word it extends out from. Press Shift and click down to add it to the active layers. Now press Ctrl or Command E to merge them into one layer. Control click or command click on the layer to make it into a selection. Make a layer mask next to the layer and call up your brush tool. As before, press shift and drag a line across the bottom of the text. To fade out the line, simply brush over the edge. Let's place all our text that make up our title into a folder. Click on the top text layer and click shift on the bottom text layer. This highlights all the layers in between. Now press Ctrl or Command plus G which places them all into a folder. We'll rename the folder Title. Call up your zoom tool and zoom in on the bottom. Let's add some of the names of the cast of our movie. Call up your type tool and we'll type in 30 points. Type in the name and highlight the last. We'll increase it to 40 points. Call up your move tool and go to your text and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag the copy to the right. To change the name, call up your type tool, highlight the first name and type out your new name. Do the same for the last name. Repeat this process for the rest of your cast. Highlight all the names and create a folder and name it Cast. We'll reduce the opacity to 60% so all the layers within the folder have a 60% opacity. The last step is to add the tag lines in between the bars like in the Born poster. Call up your type tool and type in the words of your tag line, placing them on the empty areas between the bars. Have fun creating your own movie poster that you can use for spy thrillers, ultimate fighting, martial arts, or even horror and mysteries. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.